What's the most embarrassing date you've been on? Organized a date with this gorgeous girl while was at the surf club. Call for a rescue goes off and I'm running off to do my thing. Pull this older guy from the water, he is not in great shape and has stopped breathing. CPR and the whole works. Ten minutes later and the ambos take him away. At the date she wanted to know if I was gay or bi, had to explain what CPR was, that I wasn't attracted to the person and that it's to try and save a life. Nope, she wasn't buying it, I was was clearly gay for drowned men. It was one of those setups where my mom and his mom were friends and they were like, our two nerdy, intensely introverted loner kids should date. Unfortunately that was the literal entirety of what we had in common, so. Bonus detail, we went to a theater that was showing the big sleep. He fell asleep. My freshman year of college, I went on a first date with a guy from my Italian class. We had pizza and after dinner, we were walking around and it started to drizzle. I was wearing ballerina flats with no treads. I took a step on the wet cobblestones and my foot shot out from under me. I landed on my ass, hard. I was mortified, of course, so I stood up quickly. My date asked if I was okay. I remember saying that felt queasy, and the next thing I knew I was regaining consciousness in the gutter. A woman stopped to help. I eventually got up and finished my date at the student health center. It turned out LD broke in my tailbone. I had to sit on a donut cushion in class for the next two weeks. It didn't work out. It's too bad because breaking my ass on our first date would have made a great how we met story. This was embarrassing in the moment, but it worked out. It was a second date, but it was also Valentine's Day, so Elle decided to get her flowers, a card that plays music, and some chocolates. It was freezing cold, but I didn't have anywhere to keep them besides my car. I took the chance the flowers might die. We had a nice date, and when we get back to my car I got them out. Oh those flowers were dead. Ah w-e-l. She opened the card, and the sound chip just went b b b z z z z z z z z I sighed and said w-e-l. I hope the chocolates are okay. She started laughing and gave me our first kiss. In college Elle took a girl to an Almodovar movie. I heard this guy made some stuff girls like, so I went in blindly. It turned out to be a movie about a male nurse who was a serial rapist of hospital patients in a coma. That was a very awkward two hours, and ended with the girl telling me she will walk home alone. First date with my now husband. We are both very anxious people who had little experience with dating and we were both so nervous. I threw up right before the date. He came to pick me up and we drove to the library where we were planning to use their Wi-Fi to watch Netflix in the back of the car, despite being almost 20 years old, my mom would not let us hang out in my bedroom at home. As soon as we got to the library he got out of the car and threw up in the parking lot. I then admitted to him that I had also thrown up right before the date. He tried to play it off as us having the flu or food poisoning but we both knew it was really just the nerves. First date with my now wife, I got food poisoning and had violent diarrhea on the side of the road and had to clean myself with an old shirt I had in the back of my car. Had a date with a girl who asked me out. This had never happened before. I was pretty excited. We went and got dinner and followed up at a bar for a couple of drinks. We went back to my house and she politely informed me that we could chill at my house, but that she doesn't sleep with people on the first date. No worries, I told her and we hung out with my roommates and listened to some music. After a couple of hours she told me she had a great time but that she was going to head home. Since my roommates were home she asked if I would walk her to her car. Once we got out there she leaned in and kissed me. I kissed back and a light makeout session occurred for about half a minute. We embraced in a hug and she must have felt my boner trying to escape my jeans because she looked down. I also looked down, and what do I see? My fucking boner head sticking visibly out of the top my waistline. She fucking lost IT. Like it was the goddamned funniest thing she'd ever seen. I stammered out an apology. She kept laughing and got in her car and said I'll text you as she was still heaving with laughter. I walked back inside, after an adjustment, and told my roommates what had happened and we got drunk and laughed about it. 
I dated that girl for another couple of months. She ended up dumping me on my birthday. I went with a girl to see a really late night theater show. It ended at like 2 a.m., well past when public transit stopped running. We didn't have a car or money for a taxi so we walked back to her family's house since I lived much further away. We collapsed fully clothed on her bed and instantly fell asleep. Three hours later her dad shook me awake and demanded to know who I was, then when he found out I was studying chemistry in college he started questioning me about thermodynamics, which really not my strongest subject. Was. Was at a house party, the girl whose house it was pulled me into her parents' bedroom. We were kissing and fumbling around like teens do on her parents' bed. Took her pants off and for some reason said something like do you think your dad does this to your mum here? The mood died pretty quick after that. Still cringe when I think about it. If you're reading this I'm sorry Catherine, it was and still. Is the most embarrassing moment of my life. Girl and I made plans to meet at an outdoor mall and see a movie, this was back in middle school so my mom had to drive me in about an hour's worth of traffic, and she cancels 15 minutes out. I felt so bad for my mom driving me all the way there already so I simply pretended like she hadn't cancelled, my mom dropped me off, and I watched a movie by myself. Almost cried but I kept it together. But I mean the movie was good at least. Dude spent most of the night talking about his buddy Pedro and how he couldn't wait to introduce us. Turns out Pedro was his dick and they were both pretty pissed that I wouldn't even shake hands with Pedro. Never mind kiss him BC you hurt his feelings by refusing to shake hands. I was 13 and it was my first date. She wanted to meet at some place and then go somewhere else, but I was pretty bad at knowing places so I had to ask my mom where it was. She gave me a lift and I thought she'd go away but she apparently went out to see what's happening. Not knowing I was being watched I met her and we started walking when suddenly my mom yelled out from behind us that we were going in the wrong direction. I was so embarrassed I wasn't able to talk to the girl normally after and just went home very quickly because I thought the whole thing was already fucked. A woman asked me on a date to a dog park bar. I told her my dogs don't travel well so it would just be MNE, which she said was fine. I got there and she also didn't bring her dog. Then she tells me she's a recovering alcoholic and doesn't drink. So we're at a dog park bar with no dogs and no drinking. The date lasted another 20 minutes or so before she began crying about how she'd ruined everything and ran to her car. Suddenly I was a guy at a dog bar with no dogs or drinks that just made a woman cry and run away. He took off his shirt at Outback until the waitress asked him to put it back on then stood in the parking lot loudly and badly, rapping to his own music. Shout out to Eli. So this is embarrassing in retrospect. Back in my second year of college, I was pulling an all-nighter at the same time as this very cute girl who I was friends with. WNE weren't in the same place, but we kept messaging over Facebook or Hangouts or what have you the entire night. It was really nice just talking with her. I had been single for about two months, and was just getting over the break. Up. When dawn hit and our papers were finally done, she asked me out for celebratory breakfast. I went looking kinda gross. I absolutely looked like I had just finished an all-nighter. She looked radiant and had clearly put more work into this meeting than I did. As our breakfast went on, we're talking, laughing, and the caffeine is mixing with the satisfaction of completing my work for the semester, and I just feel like I'm in a really good place and I tell her as much. The sun is starting to fill the windows of the restaurant we're in, and there's this warm light everywhere. She smiles, looks coy and asks me if I am over my ex. I smile back, say that I am, and tell her that I'm already thinking of the person who LD like to ask out next. She smiles even broader and asks me if she knows who it is, while touching me on the hand. Still smiling I say, I don't think so, her name is Rebecca and she was in one of my history classes. Distinctly, this was not the girl I was out to breakfast with. The girl I was with, looked absolutely devastated. And I had no idea why. I think I said something like I'm sad the semester's ending soon, but I'll see you in the spring. And thus, ended what I would later learn was the first date with the woman who would later become my wife. Not my embarrassment exactly, but I took a girl out after school one day. 
She was always a friend of mine, but I kinda liked her, too. Well her recent ex saw her get in my truck. He called her while we were at a table waiting for our food. She put it on speaker, but he didn't know this. He immediately started demanding that he tell her where she is. When she wouldn't do that, he said he would tag. Her in a post on Facebook with all the nudes she ever sent him while they were dating, if she didn't go home. I felt so fucking bad for her. She was in tears the whole way home. The worst part was that nobody believed me because he is a nice dude. Shit still makes me sick to think about to this day. Some of my close friends at the time still hang out with the guy. I guess I was embarrassed. 2 TBH. Embarrassed to know this guy that is. There was a girl that I had met through mutual friends, and we drifted in and out of each other's lives for a few years. I finally asked her out, and after a few dates, we had a lovely one at an outdoor cafe on a beautiful late summer evening. We went back to my place for the first time, and started kissing on my bed which is when I felt something warm start to drip from my nose. It started bleeding and was dripping on her upper lip before I could catch it. I was horrified, and tried to wipe it off, which just smeared it, then ran to the bathroom to stuff a tissue in my nostril and get her a washcloth. She was as polite as she could be, but promptly informed me that she was leaving and wouldn't let me walk her to her car. As she walked out the front door, she turned and told me. It's really too bad, because I was in a really good mood tonight. She was gone, and I headed to the bar to drown my sorrows. Somehow we've been together almost 10 years and married for 6. Love you, sweetheart. This one is a roller coaster of embarrassment then sadness. So I took a girl out to Nando's once on a date. She was really nice and we talked quite a lot, so I decided to treat her. On the drive there, the conversation was really awkward but it was our first time speaking so that was understandable. We ordered like normal, and Elle ate mine, but noticed she wasn't eating at all, and I asked why she wasn't eating nine anything, and she was like HMM I don't feel like it, and proceeded to pour her entire meal into her handbag. I was a bit annoyed, but most of all felt massive second-hand embarrassment from her part. It was so weird. We then drove home in silence and all I could smell was the food that she had left in her handbag. Not even wrapped up. This is the sad part. She messages me two days. Later saying she was really sorry she was acting weird. Only three or four nights prior to the date was the Manchester Arena bombings, and she went. I had not even realized she had gone, so she was traumatized as fuck. Then I felt really bad for not asking about it, but tbf. I had no clue. We never spoke again after that, poor girl. The ear rapist my GFS coined him that nickname. It's been 20 plus years and they still talk about that guy. LOL first date and we went to a sports bar and then a movie, The Exorcist, the remastered, not the original. At the sports bar he was hanging all over me and wouldn't leave my side at all. I kept going to the bathroom to get some breathing room. Then we went to the movie and he kept trying to stick his tongue in my ear. At point he screamed and jumped in my lap during a scary part of the movie. And then he went back to trying to stick his tongue in my ear. The only reason I didn't bail right away was he was my ride home, we were 20 miles from my home and was a dumb 22 year old. There was no second date. As soon as he dropped me off low ran to my front door and locked it. When I was in high school I dated a guy with IBS and my parents insisted multiply times on having him over for dinners where he would just sit there because he couldn't eat any of our food. It would have been fine if my parents ever let him and I I'll cook, food he could eat, which we always offered, or if people in my family fucking talked. We're a very introverted family and that's fine when it's just us, but when you're 17 and your boyfriend is bored and hungry and your family is just chewing in silence, ugh the cringe. I was around 17 or 18. There was this guy at my church that I wasn't super interested in, but my parents really wanted us to at least give it a go because they thought he was a good guy. He was funny and traditionally attractive, I just wasn't personally attracted to him. So when he asked me out on a date one day, I'm like ah sure, what's the worst that could happen? Well, he took me to Penn. Station. A casual sub-chain for those that don't know. 
I'm not a stickler about going to expensive restaurants or doing anything fancy for dates, but a sandwich chain with a drive through Eh. My food was horrible. I couldn't finish it and was nauseous the rest of the night, I still can't bring myself to eat there. So after that he's like I have a friend throwing a party, want to go. And I'm. Like hell yeah, that's more my speed. Church boy is getting crazy. We walk into this tiny, dirty trailer packed with people I didn't know. One the only seating was a single couch, and there was a random ass strobe light in one room. Everyone was just sitting on the floor. He immediately left and got a drink so I'm like I'd, guess I won I'll be the DD. He didn't introduce me to anyone. Everyone kept. Asking why I was drinking water and if I wanted a drink, which I desperately needed at this point but turned down. He was nearly impossible to find for most of the party except for the last 10 minutes where I sat on his lap and we made out. He was an awful kisser. By then, it was late, I was uncomfortable, still nauseous, and a good 45-minute drive from home. I asked to leave several times before. I finally dragged him out and drove his drunk ass home. There wasn't a second date. My George Costanza moment. Went out on a date with a girl going to college at a neighboring town. Went to dinner and what have you. When I went to take her back to her college apartment, we sat and chatted in my truck for a few minutes. Then she said my roommate's gone, do you want to come up for coffee? My response was no, I don't like coffee. She gave me a strange look, we said our goodbyes. And I left. I was halfway home when it hit me. I wish I could say L I am just going off the Seinfeld episode, but nope. Tmobli87 is a big idiot when it comes to women. But met my now wife of 8 years the next month swa say it worked out.